Welcome to your dream and his interpretation. How are you doing today? I'm Paul S. Joshua. It's my pleasure to be here again today to handle the dreams you have sent to me. And then don't forget, if this is your first time on this channel, my rule is you want to send your dream, tell me your name. And number two, tell me where you are sending your dream from. And number three, make your dream brief. If you write lengthy dream, I will not have the time to take your dream on this platform, okay? I deal with people who obey the simple rules. Try to type your dream or, you know, very brief, very brief so I can attend to him quickly, all right? Without wasting much of our time today, I go straight to those of you who have sent me dream. And I start with your own Desmond. Uh, Desmond from Washington, D.C. Hey, good day, man of God. I love your channel. Okay, please. What does it mean to see a moon in the sky and then with the three fingers? You know, uh, a moon and three fingers. Please, what does that mean? Okay, uh, Desmond from Washington, D.C., United States of America. When you see a moon in the sky and then you saw three fingers alongside with the moon, that means God is going to do something in your life in three months' time. Okay, three months. Three months. Something will happen in your life. And that's why you saw three fingers and then you saw a moon on the sky. So get yourself prepared because something amazing, something incredible will happen in your life in three months' time, okay? In three months. So that is what your dream means. So get yourself prepared. I don't know what is it, but I believe something shocking, something amazing, something wonderful will take place in your life in three months. So that's why three fingers, three moon appear good. So that's your dream, Desmond, all the way from Washington, D.C., in United States of America. Very quickly, I pick the next dream. Uh, your name is God's Love, like you said. Um, from India, after you say, I dreamt of Python a few days back. I also saw steak. Please let me know what I mean. All right, uh, for you to see Python and for you to see snake at the same time, you've got to be very ready. That tells you that there is a dangerous person around your life. Very dangerous person. So get yourself prepared, God's Love. So that the enemy will not attack you suddenly okay there's somebody close to you that is very dangerous for you so be very very careful be smart enough to design because the spirit of god has opened your eyes to see you know python and then a few days back you say you saw snake so a very subtle person who might want to actually jeopardize you frustrate you or attack you in any vulnerable form you might think of so be very careful and i'm sure God will help you to overcome that in Jesus' name. Okay, good. The next one is from Jerry. Uh, Jerry, all the way from Kenya, you said, I dreamed I was in the toilet and had so much to release to the point of almost filling up the toilet bowl. When I finished, I realized that there was a bit of mess on the toilet floor. All right, uh, Jerry from uh, Kenya. Your dream here actually has to talk about, number one, you had to pray. Uh, against embarrassment coming your way. I mean, there's going to be a lot of issues that will come your way uh, in the recent time that might want to embarrass you and put you in a kind of shady circumstance. So you've got to be very careful. You've got to pray. You've got to say, Lord, help me to overcome every plan of the devil to get my life embarrassed, to get my life messed up. Okay, the devil has planned actually to mess you up. There are several plans on ground to mess everything about you up. So you must be careful so you can actually get over that. So you don't get embarrassed, you don't get ashamed, you don't get humiliated publicly, okay? Take notice of that. That's your dream, Jerry, from Kenya. The next one quickly is uh, Humaima from Ghana. Humaima from Ghana, you said, um, I had a dream, I had an accident, and two of my legs were crippled. Can't walk, but later I got well, woke up and try to walk again please what does it mean all right you may map from ghana for you to have an accident and you lost your two legs and you were crippled like you said in that dream well that is a big challenge coming your way you have to pray so that either your business and your marriage will not crumble at the same time okay but the accident here might not be literal and it can be literal but in case it is not literal it can be financial accident it can be marital accident it can be anything bad coming to happen to you that it could take you time, it's going to take you some time before you can recover from it. So pray, especially concerning your job, concerning what you do so that it not get crashed, it doesn't get destroyed. Then you start struggling again for the business to pick back, okay? So pray in that line, that's what you're saying. Umaima, all the way from Ghana. Okay, I picked the next dream quickly, and that is Deborah. Deborah from Netherlands. You said, I always dream um, beating my elder sister, but this time she saw me with money given by my late grandma. And she came to pull it by force from me. I woke up pulling the money 
with one hand and while beating her with the other hand, telling her to leave my money. All right, uh, Deborah from Netherlands. I your dream here clearly indicate that your elder sister is envious of you and that when your mother was alive or your grandma, it's like you are blessed. She released a blessing on you and now your sister is fighting to see that she recover that blessing. She take away that blessing from you. So that means that your destiny here is facing a contention all right, with your sister. That could be a form of envy. So once there is envy, uh, the elder sister don't want to accept just like, uh, you know, Jacob and Esau. So that's the kind of thing happening in your case here. So you must fight to make sure you retain the blessings that were released upon your destiny. Okay, I'm sure you are favorite of your mother or your grandma and she spoke a blessing into your life. And now your sister is fighting you to make sure she take away that blessing from you. But you can fight to retain what God has put upon your life by being righteous, by being faithful, and by being committed for something good, especially right values, okay? So with that, you'll be able to sustain the blessings and the favor of God that has been released upon you. No one will take it away, but definitely there is a contention within you and your sister, seriously, to make sure she will take away the blessings of God upon your life, but you can sustain it, okay? That's your dream, Deborah from Netherlands. All right, the next one is uh, Anna. Uh, Anna from USA, you said, I have been praying for marriage restoration and did deliverance. I had a dream that my husband was carrying me and kissing me. What does it mean? Well, uh, um, uh, Anna from United States of America, I think your dream in this contest is proof that God has actually answered your prayer because you are asking God for restoration in your marriage and then you dreamt that you saw the man. Uh, lifting you, kissing you and all that. So it's to encourage you that God is actually answering your prayer and something is taking place. And before you know it, marriage will be restored. Your marriage will be restored miraculously. God will restore your marriage. So take notice, your dream is to encourage you, to strengthen you and to let you know that your prayer, it's been answered. So be of good cheer because God has done it for you. Beautiful. That's your dream. And these are the ones I will take in this episode. Uh, don't forget, you are watching this for the first time. You can subscribe to the channel or you have dream bothering you. Just drop it at the comment section at my free time. Take notice, at my free time, I will attend to them. Okay, I have a lot of mail coming in, a lot of messages on my WhatsApp, a lot of uh, dream uh, coming also under my YouTube uh, session. But you know, I must have uh, time for that. Okay, I'm so busy, but I must create time to attend to you at my free time. Okay, so I'm sure you've enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget. Uh, to make sure that you subscribe to this channel like I said and then if you don't like this video uh, you can still like the video right now and then not only that uh, I want to also let you know that most of you are really been asking me how do I get your book it's not difficult to get my book on dream because that book will really help you a lot and for those of you have been asking me I've always dropped the link under the description column my book on dream interpretation now most of these dreams you're having you can get the meaning of those dreams in that book and not only that you can even know how to pray concerning some issues you see in your dreams. There are so many things you see in your dream. What are the scriptures you need to use? How do I need to pray? What are the prayer points that should embark on? Maybe seeing snakes in my dream or seeing myself on the mountain or seeing myself in the river or seeing something negative or positive. How do I go about it? How do I understand if a dream is from God or not? All of these things are in my book on dreams and interpretation. Just check the description uh, column below. You see the link there. You can get it on Amazon. Simple. Just go there and get the book. It will help you. And so many times you can even handle the dream yourself. You can interpret the dream for yourself. Once you go through the books, I've given you a lot of insight on how you can understand dreams that come from God and those that are not from God and how to deal with dreams that are not positive. Okay, so just go to the description column. Right there, you will see the link how you can get the book on Amazon and purchase the book. And I'm sure you will really love it. It will bless you and it will radically change your mindset and also upgrade you in your dream life. So that's it. God bless you. I see you again in the subsequent episode. I'm Paul S. Joshua. Knowing what your dream is, is vital to your safety. Bye for now. Hey, why are you so glued to this book this morning? Won't you talk to me today? Princess, you won't understand. I have never seen a book like this before, giving me amazing insight to my nightmare and giving me the strategies on how to deal with some terrible dreams I do have. Oh, wait. Is it your dream that is an adaptation by Pastor Paul S. Joshua? Yes, so. Wow, I have read it. No wonder. It's really an amazing book. Since I read it, I stopped having terrible nightmares.
nightmares and I learned how to understand and handle my nightmares. What are you waiting for? Get your, your dreams, dreams and interpretation by Pastor Paul S. Joshua. A book with insightful revelation on your nightmares. It also provides you with scriptural strategies to handle all your dreams. It provides solutions to swimming in the dream, wet dreams, dreams, eating with dead people, climbing the mountains, and a lot more. Hurry, get your copy at the church location for retail and book purchase. Call 0803 440 0803 440 or visit www.refinershouse.com